All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If, if you're coming back, if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. Um, so today we are playing a 100 day challenge in Skyrim survival mode. Um, and the rules are as follows. Number one, I have to beat the game by the end of the 100 days or the challenge is considered a fail. Number two, uh, the goal is to not die at all during the whole 100 days. However, I have allowed myself to die. Number three, the previous rule is null and void if the reason for the death is a glitch. Number four, I can use exploits. Um, I can use Fortify Restoration Loop. I can use the Dawnstar Chest. Uh, what I'm not allowed to use is uh, straight up glitches, like getting outside of Whiterun when you're not supposed to be, getting underneath Whiterun, or the Horse Tilt. Pretty much anything else is fair game. Now, I've already gone through and I've created my character, um, and uh, one of the other rules that I had set is I was allowed to gather anything I wanted uh, that was within the tutorial area of Helgen, and that includes levels. Now, I did level up my sneak to around 65, 66 um, on the bear. Uh, what I was not allowed to do was uh, level up within the tutorial area, uh, like actually spend my perk points and stuff. Essentially, we're starting from leaving the cave and this is day one on the 19th of last seed and we're going to be keeping track throughout the video of like different things so that in editing i can add a little day counter for you guys um it'll probably be either like here on the bottom or like somewhere up on the top my only concern about putting it on the top is it kind of blocks the compass so i think i'll just put it on the bottom below my my health magic and stamina bars just like in the middle where everybody can see it be amazing all right and now that i've explained everything if i've forgotten anything i do apologize i will go ahead and say it as it comes to mind um but for now looks like he's gone for good this time but see, i don't think alduin just flew off if he comes back um so we have not <laughs> progressed very far as you can see we're a little bit hungry like uh you can see the uh, sure help you out. the time, you know, all of that. At any time, we can just hit T, and we can see the time. I wouldn't have made it without now, your help today. one thing we want to do. Now, just to prove to you, I cannot level up. I can go to skills. I've got, you know, all the points to go at least past there, but I can't level up. Uh, my stamina is down because... I'm hungry, um, and if I go to here, I've gotten some one-handed, and as you can see, I've gotten sneak up to 64, and I could not level up even if I tried. Um, like I'm trying, I don't know if you can hear me clicking there, but I, I cannot level up without sleeping. Level up is available, but only if I go to sleep. And then if I actually go to my inventory, I believe I've set some favorites already, but uh, there's the uh, carry weight is 150, which is low even for a level one character. Uh, so your carry weight's reduced. I don't have very much gold because I just started. Um, then like if I open up my quick, this is what I've got. I've got flames, healing, longbow, my potions and sparks are on my uh, quick menu at this moment. Um, now we're probably gonna get rid of this longbow eventually uh, because it kind of sucks uh, compared to other bows. To um, the I don't really want to join the legion. The um, a dragon, but anyway, we are gonna go to these uh, standing stones over here. Now you can sprint and everything. Uh, I haven't really noticed sprinting versus not. Like, if you're in a really cold area and, like, you just need to get out of there and go to a warm area, I'd recommend sprinting. Now, I haven't, like, noticed 
a lot uh, when it comes to uh, sprinting if it makes you more weary. But we're going to take the Thief Stone so that we earn our uh, skills for uh, thievery and stuff a little quicker. Now, we're not going to keep the Thief Stone because we've already got Sneak pretty high. Um, and we're going for a Sneak Archer build. Um, there is an exploit that I would like to pull off where I can wear multiple pieces of armor at once. But in order to pull that off, we're going to need to go buy Solitude first. And I am not quite ready to do that. Um, because uh, there's a standing stone over by Solitude that essentially it adds 100 to your carry weight and makes any armor you're wearing weightless. Which is very helpful. Now... These wolves are annoying, but you can kill them. If you didn't know, uh, punching them with your bow like that sometimes can stun them for a couple of seconds to let you draw your bow and, and get a shot off. Um, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, it's kind of like shield bashing, but with a bow in your hand. Um, I haven't used it much in the past, but I've also never played this in uh, survival mode, you know, until recently. So, you know, you do what you can and and uh, continue to learn. Um, now, uh, we've discovered Riverwood, which is amazing. Now, one of the things that we need to do immediately... Normally, I would like skip over this, go directly to Bleak Falls Barrow. Um, but because we're in survival, we're gonna need some food. And uh, so, I'd be glad to help a friend. What? That explains what I saw. So we get help from Alvor. Um, Yaro needs to know. We need to get word to Yaro Yes. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Give me Help some of that. You need. Within reason. Give me some of these. Some of that. And that's good. What I've found is the alcoholic drinks don't really do anything for your hunger. Um, like, at all. Uh, what really helps is the cooked food. Um, uh, interesting. Uh, sometimes there's salt piles in there, which is... Interesting. Okay. So, now we go in, uh, and he, like, teleports in here with us. Now, we go ahead and grab that. Grab his food. Now, we just acquired some cooked food for us, so let's go ahead and... I don't know where to go. Salmon steak. Bam. We're now satisfied. We're not well fed, but we're satisfied which is good enough for now. Um, Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Okay. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then. Uh, so I am fatigued. Help. That's uh, wonderful. How did you get away? I don't know where to Now, start. you know I we use the cooking pot. Assigned to John and is gone. We make some apple cabbage we'll stew, some cabbage potato soup, and, we will and then let's I make dragon. some regular potato. No, we can't. We don't have enough salt. Um, Maris, mercy, a dragon in Helken? Why well, it could be here uh, any moment. Barrel's empty. I'm sure Riverwood will be all right here when the Yara learns what's happening. All right. Be sure to send soldiers. Search this chest, grab some gold and the wolf pelts. Go on, I'm pretty Here sure we just stole from the child, but this dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Um, Mass confusion. Now I don't know um, if anyone else got out of line. Don't care about fishing I clothes. I don't care about friend. any of this. I need to um, get back to solid. We're actually gonna sleep for about eight hours. Just to uh Make sure that we're well rested. If you don't know, you can just uh, hover over the slider and uh, push E and slide it down to one hour really quickly, and you won't have to wait the time. Um, now, stamina is very important for us. 
um, because we're going to be spending most of our time sneaking. We don't need a lot of upgrades to health, but I want to get to 150 stamina, increase our health to 130. Um, now we can go ahead and make ourselves harder to detect. There we go. Then we want to get... That is not what I want. I want this. I want to backstab. Why? So I can get deadly aim. Now I don't care about Assassin's Blade. But I do want muffled movement, mainly so I can get the light foot perk. And, oh! The silent roll perk. Now, we can't get these two yet because we're only at uh, 65. It requires 70. Well, technically we're at 64, but it is what it is. We still have one to increase, and guess what that is? Bows do more damage, of course. That's always going to be useful. Now we have all these perks. No, We're not quite level 10, I which is amazing. Food supplies a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of now I am a bit peckish. So let's see. Let's eat this apple pie. Um, Adverse is a friend of mine. Glad to help however I can. Take what you need, my friend. Hadvar, Within did reach. You really see a dragon? Until next time. Okay. And now we've done that. Now, and we're fully rested. What we're gonna do is go over to the trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. I don't know. Uh, yeah, an ornament. Solid? You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. The sooner you find the... And we oh, just ask him what he's got for sale. Now, uh... Now what we can do is we can go into our weapons. Sell him a singular iron arrow. Go to his apparel. And, uh, just... Sell him stuff. Um... Now let's take a look if there's any... It doesn't look like there's anything we really want of his. Um, so, that's fine. Uh, let's take a look at his weapons, maybe. We'll just yoink all of his iron arrows. We'll, hmm. we'll grab a fishing rod, just because. Um, just in case we need it. Then we'll go back to weapons. I don't know what I just sold him. I think I just sold him my fishing rod again. Uh, we'll go back to weapons. We'll sell him one iron arrow. And, uh... Get our stuff back. Now, gold. Going to get those thieves, you head to now, we should head to Bleak Falls Barrow. I agree. Now, if we go this way, that's towards Whiterun, where our quest marker is. We don't care about that, because we're already close to Bleak Falls Barrow. Much closer than if we go all the way to Whiterun and then come all the way back. So we don't really care about going to White Run right now. Um, we can always do that later. Um, right now, we're gonna go retrieve the Dragonstone before they even tell us to. Because it's the most time efficient thing we can be doing. So let's go ahead and do it then. Now, this person can be a bit annoying if you don't take them out. We're not close enough, but they're going to take care of that, I think. They're going to search for us a bit. And then they're going to stop. And then they're going to search for us some more as we get a little bit closer. S 
still can't reach him, apparently. There we go. See, now, uh, now we're cold, uh, but it doesn't matter because it, it actually brings down our health bar, uh, which is not very much. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab his hunting bow because it's better than a bow we currently have. Uh, then we're going to uh, store that in there, favorite the hunting bow, and equip it. Now, the rest of the bandits that are in here are actually in the tower. I have no interest in this tower. There's nothing in there I could possibly need or want. Um, no. My interest is in going onward and upward. Now this uh, silent roll thing is actually way faster than sprinting, in my opinion. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't really use up that much stamina uh, comparatively. However, this is an area where I don't think we can do very sneakily, just because of it being sat up on a hill. But uh, we can kill that bandit, so there's at least one less that we have to deal with. Uh, then there's two more bandits around here somewhere. Okay, we are now inside. Um, the air is warm here, even though there's like a completely open ceiling. Um, I don't understand how the air would be warm here, but it is. Got that guy. And as always, they just dodge out of the way for no reason. Are you, are you serious? All right, they are dead. Now, because of that, we can uh, silent roll our way on over, grab their gold, grab their arrows. So far, so good. Now, uh, this always has, like, the worst loot in it. Um... I don't even think it's worth locking because I've literally gotten better loot in an unlocked chest. Now this guy's gonna be the moron that doesn't realize there's a puzzle and he's gonna show us there's a puzzle. Um, no need to kill him because the trap will do it for us. See? simple it is snake snake fish snake snake fish use the lever and it's open and we silent roll our way on over here we read this increase our pickpocketing amazing uh, take the gold and the potions take the soul gem now this part is a bit tricky because these, uh, well, these skeevers, like, smell you or something. It's really annoying. Um, but you can get rid of them. Now, I've said this before. There should definitely be a chest down here with some, like, secret loot. You know, like right underneath the the uh, steps here that's like hidden away out of sight. Maybe like move the cobwebs over and like have the chest just sitting like underneath the cobwebs. So it's like really hard to see unless you like are looking for it or know it's there. Like um, that has some like decent loot in it, like some higher tier healing potions and stuff. Uh, now I hate this part because there's like almost no way to do this sneakily 
Um, so we just uh, do that. We pull out our hunting bow again. We let this guy drop down. Then we go ahead and we poison our weapon here. Uh, let's see. Weak magic, weak paralysis poison. That's the one we want. And then. And it never detected us. Amazing. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but this guy, great A asshole. Help me, help. He is not worth saving, but you need to save him in order to get the Golden Claw, which you will need in order to progress. Plus, that's the only way in. Um, so. it's coming loose. I can feel it. And now we don't have to chase him. Take his journal and his claw. And we keep going. gonna be stuck with another one of these. The best and easiest thing to do is just to like silent roll through it if you have that spell. Um, not spell but ability. Okay he is dead. Um, he can no longer reveal our location to the enemy. Um, we're just gonna chug a couple healing potions just to be safe. Now these traps, I would like to keep hold of them. I don't care to use these traps just yet. Because I'd like to lure the boss into them later. Okay. Now you could memorize the order that these animals go in. You could look in your inventory at the Golden Claw. Or activate, 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 wait for them to stop, activate. Works every time, you don't have to worry about it at all. Now that that's out of the way, we keep on going. Now. This boss will not come out until you go to that shout wall. Um, so you can do all the looting and everything you need to do before he activates, but until you actually approach that shout wall and like learn the word of power, he will not uh, spawn. Uh, so go ahead and grab all of this stuff. Um, hell, you could probably even come right up here. Take these. And then, now that everything's looted, and all you have to worry about is the boss. Now he spawns, and now you want him to see you, because the idea is uh, he's gonna shout at you he's gonna yell at you louder probably than your your own father but uh, you want to let him chase you a bit uh, maybe fire a couple arrows at him you know you don't even have to hit him just like in his general direction um, you know you see it barely chips away at his health that's just no fun 
So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lead him this way. Um, he's gonna swing his sword around and he's gonna hobble along, you know, like some old man who uh, doesn't know where he is. Um, and then he's going to yell into the void um, in your general direction. You can uh, dodge it pretty easily if, if you're in these corridors. Um, but you don't want to let him get too close to you. Um, but you do want to make sure that he's aggro on you and chasing you. You can dodge that. Then he keeps on coming. And uh, here's where it gets tricky. Yes. See, I needed all of the traps in case the first one didn't work. <laughs> because that happens. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take our stuff. Actually, I'm going to take that so I can disenchant it later. Um, just for some easy levels. We're going to steal this offering to whatever deity that was. And we're going to exit. And we've made it through Bleak Falls Barrow before we even talk to the Jarl. And guess what? It's still day one. It's late afternoon on day one, but it's still day one. We can go to Riverwood first. And we can return this claw because we will not need the golden claw anymore. I've been looking for you. This guy wants to uh, looks like that's give it. me a, year, a letter of some kind, probably from the Jarl Falkree, um, who's like obsessed with me now um, for some reason. Let's go ahead to the Riverwood Trader and return this claw. Sooner you I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right. What have you got? Nothing new because it's not a new day. That's right. All right. All right. I'm going to go away now. Now we go to Whiterun and present our case to the Jarl. Case of the Dragons. Now, hopefully, we can get there in a timely manner where uh, the guy will be outside selling his horse. That would be ideal. We can actually buy the horse right away. Um, it's not a huge deal if he's not out there. We can just wait till the next day, but it's nice to be able to get the horse on day one. Yes, he's there. Thank you. Got the fleet, suppose so. You've got the deal. It's the one with the saddle. Amazing. What time is it? It is 8.06 p.m. What we're going to do is we're going to go and turn in this quest. The quest we have yet to get. Um, that way we'll be on the dragon hunt prior to the end of day one. And then we won't have to sleep nearly as long in order for the shops to open. We can kill the dragon on day two. Which sounds great. What okay. Do have to do then? Nothing? My lord. What's the meaning of this interpretation? Well, that explains why the guards let you in. I just think we need more Come information before so you were a Helgen. You saw this. Bye. 
What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? Lord, Next time, deal we with Avenue. Let me go ahead and eat. The most immediate danger. The Jarl of Alfred will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Finally. Is come. Let's go find Farengar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to this dragon family. Rumor. The dragon found someone who can ah. help you with your Well, dragon. when I st straight to the po I uh go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Ah, the dragon stone. You'll have to. Farengar. They're struggling to get in position. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. My lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. It's worth coming from the <laughs> This gets me every time. Because it's like... <laughs> He's like literally ran for his life away from this dragon, and then the, when they ask him to tell him about it, he's just like, "Oh yeah, that's right. A, a dragon did attack, and and it was pretty fast. It was faster than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> I never ran so fast in my entire life." He's just so nonchalant, like he forgot. That a dragon just attacked the watchtower. There's no time to. I want you, you sir, but I have asset. And please accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see. You. <gasps> yes. No this. way. No way. I am wearing these right now. Right now. I don't even care, man. I don't even care that it's minor archery. Like, 15% more damage? That's amazing. Holy cow. The shops, I believe, are still going to be closed. So that's fine. We won't be able to buy anything, really. Um, but we can go to the Bannered Mayor and buy some stuff. Come on in. We got warm um, food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Need some. I enjoy so this let's work go well ahead. Enough. Let's save that Buy appetite, some huh? food. Okay. Now we can go kill ourselves a dragon. Even though we probably could prepare a little bit more, uh, I think we can kill this dragon. Still on day one. Um, I think we can kill it before day two. That would be amazing. Um, so go ahead and drop it down there and then drop it down there. No damage to the horse, no damage to me. That's great. Now, it should only take us a couple of hours to kill this dragon. And then uh, and then we should be into day two. Um, should be like right around the start of day two whenever uh, this dragon is slain. It doesn't matter, so I'm actually gonna just poison it with frostbite venom. Not that Frostbite Venom is going to do much to this dragon, but... There you are. Now I actually have to hit this first shot for that to even be a thing. If 
effect. Let me just favorite that. Amazing. I think that's the fastest I've ever killed that dragon. Um, which is fantastic. Um, let's grab these and these and the gold. Everything else is worthless to me right now. I won't even be able to carry those dragon bones. Yeah, that didn't even t that was that took us half an hour of in-game time. Let's go ahead and equip that. What you did, isn't it? There's only okay. according to the old legends. Only the dragonborn can shout with the way the dragons. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber said. I've never heard of Where did my horse go? Did somebody steal my horse? I left it right here. There it is. That's amazing. I killed the dragon. I'm already like killed the dragon on the first day. Like I am like on pace to be like I'm like more than on pace to be able to beat this in a hundred days, which is amazing. I'll pay 40 gold for a, basically a fast travel. Basically day two. You're finally here. So what Beyond happened at the Watson? I knew I could count on you. Dragon Ball. What do you not just the man? The grey beard, the dragon, the grip. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The grey beard. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned? Yes, to I did. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned to the <laughs> in Palace of Angora. Brunga, I need to ask you to stop. What does any of this that shouting is making... Announcement? Can't say I've heard of any laws Capable against me. whatever I've got my eye on. I sign with her being this, what, dragonborn. Your nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenuchi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeard. Does it matter? You don't own me. It's now officially day two. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? 
You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. But there so is, though. Like, I've definitely refused it in other playthroughs. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very yeah, until I get there. the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service. By my right, as I assign all of We are back to business for them. We still right. have a city to defend. Time to go disenchant what you just gave me. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and stop this right here. Um, this is the end of day one, beginning of day two. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe. And I bid you guys adieu.